What's wrong guys, we're racing here back a brand new video and today we have highlights from AOR F5 Round 9 from Sunny Silverstone in Britain. We'll be hoping for a good result then starting 7th. Let's take you through the grid then we've got NLC Cosmos on pole followed by James Brown, It's Gord, Mike Rye the Boss, Smithy City, Us, X Crim, Danger Man, Matt, Millsy, Moisley Boys, Trickster, Tiso Fidis, my teammate uh, Rex uh, Revolve and Gibbs lines up 16th. There we are then in uh, seventh in our force. India, there's our teammate. Um, we haven't seen too much of him this season. I think he's been off. I think he had some problems with his Xbox, but now hopefully we'll be back for the remainder of the season and try and boost Force India up the rankings because I believe um, I'm pretty much carrying the team, of course. But uh, anyway, five lights then out, and we are racing then in Britain off to a pretty decent start. Um, you can see then the Ferrari ahead of us has uh, got a slightly slower start, but we're just trying to have a clean turn one then as we go down to the braking zone, but we've gone onto the grass there following Ryan the Boss. We actually got hit there by um, somebody, of course, who missed their braking point just like we did. So I can't really blame them because, you know, they basically did the exact same thing we did, but unfortunately for us, um, they did it when uh, someone was right in front of them. And then we locked up then and nearly went into back of Danger Man, but we're going to try and hang it around the outside then of the cage and ride the boss. Can, can we make that move stick? Yes, we can. We will back up into 8th place now, so we've lost one position off the start, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to gain that back. You can see the cars ahead going free wide, and that is not going to end well, is it? Uh, we've managed to get past the past two of them one of them went off and one of them was going very slowly now let's just try and get past the ferrari then but he's locking up of course on those prime tires we're gonna have you know quite a big pace advantage we're probably faster than him and of course you know he's got the slower tire so we should be able to try and make a move on him but you can see danger man then going around our outside we're gonna leave him, leave him some room but he's gonna go off the track um, track extend to the max there and um, gain that place which is a bit disappointing to see but anyway we're going to try and take it back then but we've missed our breaking point and we've gone onto the grass and um, he's just completely lost it or just kind of turned in on us I'm not sure you know what he was really doing there but um, anyway He's definitely come off a lot worse, although of course we have lost two positions, and that's looking like it's going to be free then, as uh, Gibbs is looking like looking likely to come up our inside, but we've managed to hold it, have we? Oh no, no, there he is, coming back up there, and uh, we're going to have to uh, try and defend hard now from the Rusha, who's going to have a look into uh, the final corner, but we've managed to break just that bit later, and we've managed to cover off the uh, inside line, looks like we're just going to hold on to uh, 10th there, but a small mistake, and definitely... Um, Trickster could get through, but you can see he's made a mistake, I think, now, and Ryan Boston behind us. But anyway, then we've got the Williams and the Ferrari fighting up ahead of us. Let's try and uh, get past one of these when they're fighting. We're banging wheels there with the Williams, of course. He didn't have much uh, <laughs> very tight uh, space here, but you can see the Ferrari just really, really slow off the corners. That's really going to compromise uh, the Williams, and we're going to try and have a look down down the inside of the uh, Williams there. Quite a natural move there. It's just kind of a normal racing line. I think the Williams, you know, getting his uh, braking points uh, possibly a bit too early of course being nice and cautious which is really good to see but of course so uh unfortunately for him though of course he lost a position let's try and get past this ferrari now then we seem to have seen off the williams but uh, we should have drs then for this uh, next corner but it's looking not not looking very likely we could be throwing it up the inside we're just kind of you know thinking about tires here you know we haven't got really the best start that i've kind of hoped for you can see he's run wide there, but he should uh, be able to uh, cover off the inside there to be bang wheels a bit. I was looking at the one stopper definitely, and a lot of people, you know, um, you know, told me that they're doing the two stopper. So I thought, you know, why not do something different? Anyway, then you can see back to the action. We've got the Williams then of Gibbs coming up on our right. He's doing a great job. Then we're just giving him enough room. He's just giving us enough room. He's made that move then pretty, uh, you know, pretty well there. We didn't, you know, cut him off, of course. He had the inside line and we just had to uh, concede that position because we knew we could definitely, uh, you know, have the pace to get it back. You can see there we're setting our fastest lap. We can go a lot faster, but of course, we've just been held up having these battles. But uh, let's try and dispose of the Williams then on lap five. Of course, we had a great battle in Austria and uh, I would like to do that. I think uh, the main target is just to try and progress up the field. And that's exactly what we seem to be doing then. We do touch there a bit, but nothing too bad to uh, worry about. We've got the DRS, but we seem to have closed it by mistake. We didn't open it. We backed out there, and uh, maybe uh, just saving our energy, just saving our tyres for another bit. You can see he's gone wide there, so he's basically given this position unintentionally. So uh, maybe all that was worth it then, just hanging back. But uh, anyway, no, nonetheless, we're back up into eighth. Scheduled to score four points at the moment, which just isn't enough, to be honest. So we do need to be trying and progressing up the field, and, you know, that's definitely... Uh, I'd already basically decided on the slap five to basically do the one stop, you know, definitely, I think. And um, the tyres were pretty, you know, perfect after five laps. So I knew I could definitely take these option tyres to the target, which was, of course, you know, lap 13. 
but uh, just going through these sections and you can see the Ferrari head is struggling kicking up um, quite a bit of dust there let's just try and close in on him and then and uh, hopefully make a move of course he's starting on the prime tires so uh if we can extend this stop you know we could probably match him you know we'll have to see if you know it depends uh, what kind of strategy call he's going to make but anyway as you can see he's peeling off into the pits and so the ferrari is coming into the pits he started on the prime tires and he's going to be ditching those after five laps so that's going to be you know a massive downside for him a massive disadvantage to him in this uh, you know game of chess but is this uh, f1 race you can see then ferrari uh, his teammate has actually run wide there we did manage to close up to him pretty easily he was really struggling with his tires He'd obviously chosen too much of an aggressive setup, I think. But the setup I chose, I think, was, you know, pretty good. I got it from uh, TRL Limitless, I believe. So, uh, that massive thanks to him, of course. So, that would be watching it. But nonetheless, uh, he's definitely helped me with this. And you can see them just moving up into fourth place after the uh, pit stops. Half shaken out, you can see then Smithy City 99 right behind us in his Williams. He's just about to come up and uh, overtake us. We're going to concede fourth place then. <laughs> Not putting up much of a fight, to be honest. Um... There's no point, of course, you know, he had a lot of fresh tyres. Anyway, then lap 13, going into lap 14, we've come in, in to uh, hopefully make our one and only stop putting on the uh, nice set of prime tyres. Anyway, then we're up into uh, sixth place now, but you can see the car ahead of us, uh, you can see then we just moved up into fifth. That was a basically glitch. Although it says there he had a penalty, he did have a penalty, but it was massively glitched where um, for some reason he was appearing higher up than he should have been. But nonetheless, we finished fifth then. Cosmos has won the race from Gord, James Browns, Smithy City, me, Matt, Ride the Boss, Mike, Moisley Boys and Takeo Fidus. So uh, as for racing then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Of course, Germany next week. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a, a great weekend.